The Spyderco Sharp Maker is one of the more sophisticated of the Crockstick type sharpeners. Multiple angle configurations, multiple grits of stones, and even the stones themselves have multiple different facets or geometries that can be used for different applications. But it still has one of the inherent problems that come with almost all sharpeners that tends to frustrate a lot of users. Is that to get a knife like this, this is the Rickhander XM18, small version, and they go to sharpen it on the sharp maker if they don't know the angle that the knife is sharpened at and the sharp maker angle rods are set too low then they don't grind the edge they grind above it and that can become quite frustrating there are a number of different tips and tricks that people give but none of them are usually a hundred percent foolproof if you put marker on the edge you can see where the stone is removing metal but even if the stone takes away all the metal from the edge that you can see, it still might be going right to the very edge. And on some of these very high, very wear resistant steels, it can take quite a bit of time because the sharp maker rods and many of the crock stick type rods are very fine. And there's a very simple thing that you can do to check and see when you get a new knife how the edge angle compares to the rods and the sharp maker. Now this is in the 15 degree setting. And all you do is you just take a piece of new sprint and you pull it over the rods and you pull it very tight. Now you take the knife relatively lightly and make as if you were trying to sharpen it and you can see it just slips up, just slips on the stone. It doesn't cut into it at all. This is because the angle of the rod is lower than the angle of the edge and you're just hitting the shoulder of the edge. In contrast, this is a metal arc. This has been reground, reprofiled. It bites in immediately and won't move on the paper. You can see it'll hold under its own weight. So the angle on this edge is lower than the angle on the rods, which means the rods will sharpen it immediately. Now. we move to the 20 degree settings it's still slipping which means the angle on this is actually higher than the 20 degree setting which means if you want to sharpen on the sharp maker you're going to need to do an awful lot of grinding before you hit the very edge you can even go further than this very coarse estimate by simply increasing the angle of the knife to the stone there, now it's starting to catch in. It'll actually hold under its own weight. So that's the increase in angle that you actually need to apply to get it to sharpen. So again, if you go straight up and down, it'll tend to slide, tilt a little bit, a few degrees, it starts to catch in. And you can use trig to calculate those degrees. And if you want, instead of actually trying to eyeball it by hand, you can put wedges underneath the sharp maker base and you can actually tilt the whole base up and then you can go straight up and down and by again using trigonometry on the base you can put the rods at say 22 degrees see if they catch 24 degrees see if they catch and you can measure the edge angle that way So you can use the sheriff maker as a relatively crude but relatively practical edge angle measuring device.